uh, hey, so here's a couple more uh, cool little doodads that I have found uh, in my uh, in my pursuit of how to trap and put up fur um, as efficiently as I can in the limited space and with the limited budget that I have. Um, this mount right here uh, is a pretty cool mount. You can see the plate, big, thick, heavy metal plate. Uh, and you can see on the bottom here that bolts to the uh, bolts to the flesh and beam. And you can just pick it up, move it around. You can buy additional brackets. So you could have one of these brackets uh, bolted to a wall in your fur shed and have multiple beams, so different widths or lengths to do different animals. Um, the way that I'm using it is I just have the one beam, but I have two of these. I have one here that's mounted to uh, what was actually started out as a outboard motor stand. Uh, and then I have another one of these uh, at my family's farm bolted to the wall in the garage. And I take this one beam, I do fleshing here at the house. And then when I go on my uh, trip up there to the farm every year, I take this beam and put it in the brackets on the wall up there. And I've got a fleshing beam up there. And you know, nothing big sticking out. You know, the, the nobody, you know, throws a fit because uh, I'm leaving a bunch of gear laying around or anything like that. So Badger Land Trapping Supply makes this. I got the beam and these two brackets um, in one uh, evolution, you know, one order. And then uh, I got a hold of them and said, hey, can I just get one of these brackets? to put this uh, beam in two different places and he said sure. So he sold me just one of these brackets separately and that's what I have up at the farm. So kind of a cool way to do it. Makes it uh, really stable. You know the beam works really well and uh, just another cool little doodad that I haven't seen much about. Thought uh, some other people may be able to, to use it. Thanks.